kind of mathematics that many people do here in DIFR, um, pure mathematics. Yeah. It doesn't so much look for applications. So applications always follow. I think you said the same thing about electricity and that sort of. Yeah. Applications always follow after several centuries. In mathematics case, sometimes several centuries, sometimes several decades. Maybe if you're very lucky in a few years. I mean, one application of the kind of mathematics I do in number theory is encryption. So if you want to send some data from US to India, credit card data or something, you know, how to encode it into a certain way. So there are some, you know, but these are very layman applications. They're not the real reason we are working there. Yeah. We're working at the frontier and someone is using something way behind, you know, yeah. which is not the main reason. But one can say there are some applications like that. So the main reason we are doing this is because it's an art form. At least in, in the kind of mathematics I'm doing. It's like, I mean, I don't know how many of you like music here or poetry or paintings. Really good, uh, yeah, it is the same kind of pleasure. You produce something, a structure. Uh, sometimes you work for seven years and you build a beautiful building like this express towers and sometimes you build a small house. But you're building something and when you see the final structure from all angles, it looks very beautiful from all sides. And that universe is a sort of internal universe to mathematics. So unlike the Higgs boson, which is really out there and has been discovered and is, you know, you can almost touch it now. But uh, yeah, so this, these structures are in our, in our imagination, but when mathematicians see them, they're solid structures. It's not something, something that's, uh, you know, fictitious.